Hello, my name is Representative Pam Powers Hanley and I represent LD9 in Tucson in the Arizona House. Well, generally I'm talking to you about bad bills and I want you to go to RTS and say no, 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 no. But today is a little different. I decided to do something positive. And so I'm going to tell you about four bills that passed out of the Commerce Committee today uh, on a unanimous vote. And so they're not necessarily emergencies, but they are bills that, you know, would probably make our lives a little better. The first one on the list is HB 2396. Now this is a bill that is brought forth by Representative Cobb, not necessarily somebody I usually agree with, but this is a good bill. So what this bill does is it uh, is a way to identify predators on dating websites and notify other people who might have been contacted by the same predator. Now, if you've ever been on a dating website, you know that they're infamous for people of lying about different things. So it's not going to get rid of those little lies about your weight or your age or that picture that's 20 years old, but it's going to go after people who, you know, send you, a, send you an email or a contact say, hey baby, you look lovely tonight, and then get a conversation going. Oh, I'm looking for a soulmate. You seem to be the perfect person for me. By the way, I'd like to come see you in Tucson. Why don't you send me $2,000 to get there? So it's that sort of thing. So this is the fraud going after money, buttering somebody up who might be lonely and taking advantage of them. So this allows the dating site, once somebody who's been um, uh, identified as a predator, it allows the dating website to tell other people who they've had contact with that this person is, is somebody that they should watch out for. So I think this is a good idea. The next one is HB 2305. And so this is a this is a bill about microbreweries and micro distillers. And so if you've ever been to a microbrewery, you know that there are those huge tanks and there's lots of infrastructure involved in making beer, right? And so what this bill allows is it allows uh, microbreweries or distillers to share a space. Like for example, a brewery could share a space with another brewery and they could share the, uh, the equipment. They'd have still their separate business license, their separate, you know, taxing and regulatory, uh, you know, uh, laws that govern them, but they'd be able to share this facility. And the same would go with two micro distillers. They could share a, dis a, a facility. I think this helps the smaller distillers and the smaller brewers, and so I think it's a good idea. The next one is 2382. Now this is about uh, people who live in mobile home parks who might need a caregiver. So some mobile home parks, they have age restrictions. For example, if it's a retirement community, you can't live there if you're over, under 60 or something like that. Or they might have requirements that say this particular size trailer can only have one occupant or two occupants. And so what this bill does is that it waives some of those regulations that allow, so it allows uh, people who live in mobile home parks to have a caregiver who might be younger and probably is younger uh, and also have that caregiver live in their home with them if that's necessary, if they need 24-hour care. So again, this is going to help people who are ill or elderly uh, have a caregiver um, and if they live in a mobile home park. So I think this is a good thing. This is going to help people out. And then lastly, HB 2697. Now this is something that everybody on the Commerce Committee could relate to. And so this is a bill that makes it easier for people to get out of spa contracts and gym contracts. This bill was brought forth by the Attorney General because they noticed during the pandemic so many people had a really hard time getting out of these contracts. And so this leaves the reasons to get out of a contract the same but it makes it easier to get out because it adds email and electronic communication. Some gyms force people to actually come to the gym with a piece of paper to uh, get out of the contract, but the gyms were closed so that they couldn't get out of the contract. So I personally have had trouble getting out of contracts like this, and so I'm really glad to see email and more ease of use to get out of a contract. It's easy to get into these, hard to get out of them. So. Four good bills, if you wanted to say yes to something on RTS, would be HB 2396, 2305, 2382, and 2697. So, have a great day.